What's up guys, how you all doing? I'm Paul the Tech Giant and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be testing out this Philips Ambilight TV and actually checking out the Ambilight itself in a daytime environment. Now I have already tested this TV and its Ambilight capabilities in a darker environment and I'll put a link to that video in the description which is my unboxing video so uh, yeah you get an unboxing along with that so please go check that out. So yeah I thought it'd be a bit different showing you guys what it's like in the daytime because let's be honest not everyone watches TV in a dark room all the time so uh, yeah I thought I'd mix it up a bit and give you guys an idea of what to expect. Now for those of you who don't know what Ambilight is, well at the moment I've got it turned off on the TV but this image on the screen actually shows us what it's like. So when you've got an image on the screen itself, LED lights that are on top, bottom and on either side on this particular model will actually mimic those colours and throw them off onto the wall as we see there. Now I just want to say a big thanks to the guys at box.co.uk who are kind enough to send over this TV for testing and if you like what you see when it comes to this TV or anything else for that matter please go and check out their link in the description. Now many of the TVs from Box come with a free extended protection plan, free delivery and they will price match all the major competitors and if you use my affiliate link you'll put a few quid back in my pocket at no extra cost to you. So you're going to get a TV at a great price that should last you for years to come and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time so it's a win-win for everyone so please go and check out the link to box right so let's quickly just show you the viewing environment then so we have a south facing living room now don't get me wrong it's not the middle of the day or anything like that that'd be unfair if i had light streaming through the windows directly onto that tv obviously you know those leds aren't going to be doing that great in that sort of situation but you know we still have natural daylight coming into the room so so it gives you an idea of what to expect, but obviously I can't shoot every single, you know, lighting scenario. But like I say, give you a rough idea. Rightio then, so what I've got is a piece of HDR material and uh, what we're going to do is grab our remote control and as you can see we do have a dedicated Ambilight button just there. So I'm just going to press on that and um, brings up the Ambilight menu. So uh, this is Ambilight styles that we are currently uh, going to go on. As you can see it's currently off. So let's get that back up again. Go down to follow video and we are in standard mode there. And there you go. That ain't too bad at all, is it? To be honest, I think that's uh, better than what I was expecting. Let me just uh, rewind it back a bit there because we did have some nice greens and I got a funny feeling it should pick up on this TV really well. So yeah, as we can see there, it's picking up the greens from those trees. We're getting white light coming down because of the concrete just there. And we put it on a wide angle as well. So you can see exactly how that is doing. I think that's pretty impressive as you can see with the light in the room, you know, use your own judgment about the amount of light that is in the room and comparing it to how bright those LEDs are. Once again, I will say obviously, you know, direct sunlight is, you know, it ain't going to cut the mustard really, is it? Let's be honest. But that is actually doing quite a good job i mean so uh this sort of you know light environment yeah i'd say you know you're good to go to uh have those ambi lights on i was uh concerned that you know uh, when this tv was sent over that it was only going to be very good you know once the curtains are drawn lights off that sort of thing but uh you know this shows you different right just moved on the footage a little bit and again we've got greens there coming through which uh you know it's blatantly obvious isn't it Move around again to the side there. And it's picking up the reds there from that telephone box, yes. which are, you know, you can see that easily enough. And again, it's now changing. So we're getting blue from the sky. That's easy, easily enough seen. I'm gonna sit in my sort of usual seating area. Yeah, and you know, we are getting the benefit of that ambilight. Moving over to this side as well, moving around a little bit. And uh, I know I did show this in my unboxing video, but one thing I will show as well, that you have to move so far around to actually see those LEDs, which you can see just there. So you've not got the fear of, you know, if you sat around to the side that you're gonna see them. Moving on to something a little bit more challenging now, because uh, we've got Christmas lights on display. So yeah, it should see lots of different color changes, which we are, look at that. That's uh, rotating through those nicely there. 
picking up those reds just there, the sort of golden colors from those uh, lights, the blue off to the side, which is coming through as well. Let's move around a bit. Yeah, and that's doing, uh, once again, very well indeed. But we do have other modes, so uh, let's change it up a bit. So a bit of different footage now, and what we're gonna do is press on the Ambilight button on the remote again. And uh, this time we're gonna change it from standard to natural. See how that changes. Um, to be honest, I can't see a big jump there. Let's go down to sports. A little bit of a difference there with sports. Not a great deal, but let's now try Vivid. Now that I noticed has changed quite a bit at the bottom there. Let's go back to standard. So yeah, it's uh, well made it as it says, more vivid. There we go. So we're back out of that now. We can see that blue coming through there nice and easily and uh, those brown tones being replicated at the bottom as well. So uh, yeah, you can boost that color a bit there if you want. So uh, let's just go back to standard. So as you can see, that's dulled that right down. Natural, yeah, I can't see a big difference there. Sports, and vivid. So uh, yeah, personally, you know, daytime, you want to add that sort of bit more of a punch, whack it up on Vivid. Maybe it might be a bit too much, you know, when you've got the uh, lights dimmed, it might be, yeah, a bit too intense. But, uh, you know, it's great that you've got those options there. So there you have it then guys, that was my testing of this Philips 807 four-sided Ambilight TV in a slightly brighter environment. Now if you do appreciate this video, do us a favour, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you already haven't, and hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.